Um, bring you, that to you. Do you want me to bring it like right to my mouth? Uh, In an appropriate. Yeah, wait till my mouth leaves. Blubbity blue. Scoop D. Oh yeah. Sexy. This is going well. <laughs> Are we starting? Yeah. Have we begun? Okay. Hold on. Oh, you want to start, Ma? Well, no, oh, you, you start because. Look at that. You're like, you're getting, you're like up and like, nah, I want to be up too. I, I want to look care. like a slouch. Uh, Fuck. Sit back and I get comfortable. Oh, I just like. I could, I could turn it when I edit it and make you. Really? Yeah. Yeah, just make me look like a supermodel. Okay, thanks. Sure. Great. Yeah. That's all and I they need. make me have one chin, so let's work let's this through. Let's all do this. Mom, don't kill harder than me, please. Okay. <laughs> I just, we both just met her. Thank you so much. Um, all right. All right. First, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mom, the story the story goes. My, my one of my best one of my best friends, probably the guy. My the, friend John DeWalt. I know yes. you guys are friends on Instagram as we well. We now are very close on Instagram. Don't be too close. And okay. uh he saw I had never seen Wicked. Right. My mom this is come on. I had to have her come be a guest when you said yes to this. Is that me? Is that me? It's not me. My phone's on airplane, Mom. I mean, so I'm going to cry now, just look, thinking about it. Look. Uh, so John sees the play with his wife, Allison. Cool. And uh, he says, I got to go with Rick. I think um, it's because For Good, that's the name of the song? Yeah, yeah. Right. I think that was the reason John felt that way. She's crying. I play it five times a week, Thanks, every day. You got to... Oh, I'm supposed to... Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm supposed okay, to only be the co-host. I, I want to tell you a funny thing. Ricky said, I'm only here to be a co-host. And so I said, oh, you mean, and he named somebody like from Conan or something. And I go, you mean like Ed, Mc, Ed McMahon? Do you know Ed, Mc, Ed Mc, from Yeah, Jack? yeah. So he, I said like Andy Richter. And, oh, yeah. he said Andy Richter. And yeah. then he said like Ed McMahon. And then he called me Ed McMama. Isn't oh, that's that sweet. I have to say something. Okay. What? And okay. I've said this before. I, I'm a joke smith. Okay. <laughs> And my mom likes to repeat some of these jokes. And I feel that she's taking a Picasso painting. And ruining it? Well, she's, she sees the beautiful colors. Mm. And she says, I could do this. So she takes the colors. Mm. And then she says, look what Ricky made. You can't say Ed, Ed McMahon, Ed McMama. Yeah, why? Because man and mama have the wrong amount of syllables. Okay. It's Ed McMom. Could you excuse oh. us for a second? Oh, oh God. I'm, Ed Ed Ma- I'm gonna be the egg Mc- egg McMuffin. Egg, egg, <laughs> egg, egg, egg Mc- I love an egg McMuffin. They're my favorite. Egg, egg, just, you want an egg McMuffin? God, do I have I wanna it. take I wanna take care of my guests here. You, you come into my place, I wanna treat you right. I want an egg McMuffin. Postman. No. Postman. Postman. No. Postman. No. Yes, Jake. absolutely. That's a story. I haven't had a I haven't had no Get one. Well, actually, I we're have... sponsored by uh uh McDonald's. You are? I don't know, I'll go for it. I want to be sponsored by Shake Shack. You want to? Sh- we went to Shake Shack after you. I play. know. Let me tell you the reason why I was like, like, actually paid attention to both of you guys is not the ridiculous singing or the fact that you guys made me think I got you house seats from the post. That you did. It was like, thanks for the house seats, Jaggy. And I was like, do I know them? I did I get house seats? So <clears throat> I get so many housey requests that I'm like constantly like. So I was like, fuck, did I? I don't. But it was you guys did a video in Shake Shack. And I, Shake Shack is That's like the love of my right. life. I've been trying to get sponsored by them for years. Sponsored for what? What does that mean? Just like to eat their, their food. Just to like get I want, free food. I want Jack in the Box. I want to do their tacos. I just really, yeah. Okay, so we all have everything. I want to be their double cheeseburger girl. I want to be their tacos. I'm, the last meal I'm going to eat on this earth will be a Jack, Jack in the, the Box, box taco. taco. No sauce. It's too hot for me, this, this hot I sauce. I get a Shake Shack without, with no Shake Shack sauce. Well, and I can't we, have so much in we have so much in common. This is a date. Oh you got to go. I don't want to leave. I could be I could be the Ed McMuffin and you guys could be the, the stars. Yeah. When fine. when Rick told me that you were coming, yeah. After I cried and after I cried again and then after I said, "Are you fucking kidding me?" I took out my little song and I just started singing it. Because when I told Rick, when Ricky told me that he was going to go see it, Wicked, yeah. I said, this is my song. And I want you to learn, you should hear him play the piano. So I said, oh, you, you got to learn to play this song for Mommy. I heard it said. Oh, she can sing. No obligations. I'm going to request. No. No, I can't it's do so it. It's so funny. I'm getting on a plane tonight to go fly to Buffalo, New York, to do a concert with the girl that played my Glinda, Kara Lindsay, to sing For Good tomorrow yes. at a gala. Oh. Can my mom and come? I, yeah. And last night I hadn't sung it in what, like, you know, it's been like 
Well, all well if you need weeks, the word, to remember just the to make sure, yeah, just to make sure. I, uh, oh, and also, you know what else you did? What? Another one of my favorites. And by the way, to show you my age, I was there for the original hair. Oh, in, in, when it first came out in nineteen six, what is it? I was in the original to, revival. Okay, yeah. Well, I was two thousand nine Broadway. I was at. I was there in the sixties when it came out. Yeah. Black boys. That's my jam. Uh, no, look. Black boys are delicious. Oh my God, you know. Chocolate flavored love. <laughs> Licorice lips like real candy. Come on. Oh no, no. You're too good. I can't sing with Keep you. Keep my cocoa. Cocoa handy. Yeah. I have such a sweet tooth when it comes to love. Your voice is so oh, good. Were yeah. you a singer? No. Absolutely. But were. I doubt, I, nice. I made sure I had the words because I'm going, she sang black. And yeah. I was like, and that was so risque. I mean, that was like yes. so major at the in the day. Totally for these white women to come out and sing about black boys and their taste, yeah. and then the black girls to come. I mean, that was like a big thing in the '60s. Totally. Now it's all we're talking about. And then it was the first, <laughs> and it was also the first show where they were nude. Yes. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. There was nudity and, and hair? Oh, yeah, they took off all their clothes and just stood Wait, do you not know about that? That's I the only know, thing with hair. I only it's know unseen. hair is the, is the Travolta movie. I mean, I know it comes from something bigger. What Travolta? That's what, what, Travolta? You're talking about? what are you talking, what are you talking about? about? You're an idiot. That's hairspray. Yeah. That's hairspray. Come on now. Oh, Ricky, wow. mama. It's a, you're I'm embarrassing your mother. I'm a musical maven queen. Yeah, and you, you get naked at the end of act one. Oh. So oh. I have been and naked people, in front of thousands of people. And nobody knew they were doing that when they first did it. Oh yeah, so yeah. It was, it was like, <gasps> whoa! Yeah, I didn't That's know that. a this is during Vietnam War. This was, this was major. Yeah. yeah. And when I so I made sure I had all the words for your songs in case you forgot them. And I did. Mm -hmm. I See. forget them immediately. <laughs> out, out my head. Black boy. So John and I saw the the play, and I posted a picture of something of us there, and I said, uh, John, by the way, was raving about you before we even got there. That's so nice. So I said, thanks for uh, the tickets. And I tagged you <laughs> as a joke. Um, and then you wrote back, did I get you tickets? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, who I, are you? And then I said, no, do you want to do my podcast? <laughs> <laughs> that's, Genius. That's, that's, that's brilliant. Yeah, why not? Um, that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to get you an Ed, egg McMuffin, and then it's it's twelve forty six. There's no breakfast anymore, and that is why I no I wait never a minute, wake wait a minute. McDonald's does um, all breakfast, day breakfast. All day? Oh, they do sad. all day breakfast. Are you sure? A hundred million. I remember percent. they used to do that, but I mm -hmm. think that goes think that away. That changed. That was, well, in really? Cleveland, it's all day breakfast. My husband gets it for dinner all the time. <clears throat> does he? It's breakfast so is my yeah. favorite meal of the day. Yeah, so I will eat it morning. Well, we we, night. we do. We're, we're big um, sausage egg McMuffin, regular egg McMuffin. Wait, stop it. No, I'm not eating. I haven't eaten a fast food like that other than a Shake Shack. But it doesn't count when you're doing years. a podcast and you're going out on the plane tonight. So why don't you just get it for You know, fun? I, 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 I <laughs> think she knows you're joking, but you just met us. I want to make sure mom is lying to you. Why? It's, just because you're going on a plane doesn't mean it doesn't count. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Great. I agree. Ed McMuffin. But then if you get gassy on the plane, it's awkward. When? Like, you know who cares? That's why I always say to people who are sitting next to me, you might want to get another seat. Yeah. <laughs> Because that way you have the empty seat next to you and you can put your person stuff in there. That's a lot of times when we're on a plane and I know there's extra seats. You can't if the person is already. Yeah. But if there's, I know there's an extra, because my husband will always get the aisle and I always get the window and we yeah. always pray there's nobody in the middle. Yes. And if they do, uh, we, one of us either, <laughs> or we cough. <coughs> I hope you don't mind. I've just started out really bad. That's so smart. I mean, I don't, I try real hard not to breathe near you, but you might want to go sit over there. So you could do that. That's genius. Yeah. Jackie, I have a question. I have a, a question that I don't want you to answer yet because I feel like I have a, a smart way of figuring it out. Okay. I'll actually do the, my way of figuring it out first. Let's do it. Egg McMuffin, an excellent source of protein and oh so delicious. We place a freshly cracked A grade egg on toasted English roughly top to the real butter and blah, blah, blah. As is, or do you have any modifications? To the Egg McMuffin? Yes. I would add stuff to it, yeah. Oh, so that's well, actually, that's hope for me. My question for you was because I think it's all on our minds. Are you Jewish? No. Yeah, because I don't. I don't. I, I know, think but you everybody were. thinks oh, I'm Jewish. I was going to ask no. because no, I'm not. I'm not Irish Catholic, but nobody. I'm, I'm Black Irish, but everybody would think I'm Jewish. Yeah, you have a Jew, obviously. I'm very you Jewish. Have, you have a Jew. No, no, you have a Jewish. No. Uh, you have a Jewish aura. Oh, well, I come That's in here and you start well, talking. She doesn't have a, she doesn't have a Semitic looking face. Mm. I mean, she has a Jewish vibe. No, that's her aura, but her yeah. face. She doesn't have a Semitic. All right, what do you want to add? Some white cheddar cheese. Some no, I mean, I would do a sausage egg McMuffin, let me be honest. Oh, that's a, a different thing. Okay. Yeah. Sausage egg McMuffin, as is adding... Nothing. Oh, right. Oh, that's so there the are question. no mods. No oh, modifications. There are no mods. I knew there was no Jew. Yeah. 
A Jew does no cheese, no butter on the bus. You could send me like the wrong meal. I'm like, I'm, that's fine. I'll eat it. It's great. I don't care. I think we that's... have to reevaluate this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, you want anything from McDonald's? No, thanks. No, I'm not getting it. I that was just no. I don't want that. Okay. <laughs> I'll I think cut he's, you. I think he's getting it. No, absolutely not. I'll put it on my mom's credit card. Can I put it on your credit card? Uh-huh. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This girl sing saying, she sings my song, for good. Yeah, for good. That's your song. Okay. Just, That's the easiest song in the show. I love it. Everybody loves that song, and it's well, like it's just first it's of all, just so nice. it's beautiful. It's beautiful, and it's just such a like. And the words, thank and god. right. We're and done. not only that, the meaning of the, oh, the it's essence beautiful. of it. I heard it said. Oh, oh well, that's oh not God. your part, though. That isn't my part. Yeah. My part is a, it well, maybe. <gasps> yeah. That do part. a little bit for no, me. Oh, I honey. got nothing else. <laughs> you mean you don't know the words? <laughs> no, no, I do. <laughs> I do. Okay. Hey, I bet she doesn't know the words. Sing me a part of it, please. Look, please. Why I, do you think why, I'm do you here? you think I'm dumb? No, I think you need to sing me <laughs> a little bit so I can, for the rest of my Cinematat. life. Wait, like, we'll sing this part that sings together. Well, when? You no. know, like, where's okay, the well, end Wait a minute. We're, we got to oh, find oh, it. Okay, wait a People wait. are finding this podcast riveting. Well, I've got to tell you something. You know what? I, I, I get what you're saying, I and, and, I, <laughs> and I couldn't agree with you more, and that's not on you. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, okay? I just have some friends I want to let, let's, you know, let's talk on camera. I, yeah, think, this, I think that we're really adorable. But I, I think, uh, this is my favorite, I, I think because I've been, uh, I'm able to watch it happen, Yeah. and I feel like, in a way, my mom might be making me look a little bit better. Really? You know what I mean? I don't think so. Oh, should I have... I don't. I could leave. I, no, I, I just. I think she, she's stealing your thunder. Oh, that, like, but I feel that makes me look good. No, it just makes you like. Why does this guy have a podcast and not her? Okay. You know what I mean. I hear what you're saying. Like, and I'm loving it. That's. I mean, like that's. If I was a viewer, I'd be like, give her that guy and like more her. Right. So that's what's cool about that is. <laughs> what's cool about that is I'm still whatever I am. If I'm great, if I'm bad, I'm right. I'm this whether or not she exists. Right. Correct. Yeah. So then here's Rick. Ugh, ugh, you know, <laughs> right? What, but you know what? His mom is actually awesome. It's a little bit better, right? Because you it's true. Knew, you're right. Yeah, because yeah. he knew me. Yeah, it's totally yeah, true. She, I, she I bet you get a lot of girls because of your mom. They're like at first they're like, nah, and then they meet your mom and they're like, absolutely. I, I I I see. I'm calculating a lot of different ways to sell you this because there's something cool about saying I get a lot of girls for any reason. There's also <laughs> something cool about being humble. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a choice, and I don't know if it's the right one. Yeah. I just fuck so many girls because my mom. Yeah, that feels right. <laughs> yeah. That makes you look humble and sweet, and also like you oh, know, mom like loves honoring, hearing this. Yeah. Honoring how much your mom means to you. Mm, so I yes. like that. Sometimes when a girl comes over and, you know, not that she doesn't feel safe, but for, to make her feel very comfortable and connected, I uh, show her videos of my mom. That feels good. Yeah. And then they're like, you know. Interesting. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> that That's what they do? I don't know. They've been, that's, you get some quality women. Actually, he's had a lot of quality women. Well, hold on. A lot of them I like. Wait, wait. The way oh, you no. said it. No. You mean like girlfriends? Girlfriends. Yeah. I'm not just out on the streets. You're not. I'm kind I somewhere. feel like you should. I mean, I've been on the street. I don't, yeah, yeah. Listen, take your shoes off. You know, Absolutely. Use a coaster. I'm not. I'm not with trash. <laughs> you have some tissues for me. I have tissues for you in a tray in case somebody can't reach. I don't want them putting it on the carpet. Yeah. Thank you. There's something about. I've been on a lot of podcasts. Trust me, I'm the guy. Yeah. But there's <laughs> there's something about hosting a podcast where it's like it's my responsibility. Yeah. Like. I I feel that I have to sell something. I have to sell a product which I don't even know what it is, let alone its strengths. Does that make sense? Totally. I got to like oh 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 oh, you know, and I be like, uh, you know, and I don't know the rules necessarily. Right. But I'm having a really good time, and I ha- I don't I I don't have a very good awareness of how other people are feeling. So as far as I'm concerned, this is the best day of my life. No, this is fine because it's casual. But- <laughs> Because it's it's good to be casual. It's good it to d- be casual. Is, yes. But also, like, what could we're also? It's also a good chemi- It's also a good chemistry. It does. It feels like we it's should not all go on forced. vacation. Right? Let me tell you something. This is funny because yes. I'm a lot older hey, than you guys. It feels like we should all go on vacation. Mom, there are people. Mom, that don't, I don't care what she has to say. I know. I know. I know. Uh, 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 a a queen of Broadway um, got to come and co-host uh-huh. with Jackie. Uh, yeah. Um, my mom has crowns. On the wall, like it's the church, and this is her crucifix. My mom is, I think, here's what it is. Here's what it is. I think you think Mm -hmm. you're her. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, God, you don't want to be me. Oh, no. It's not a matter of, I love being me. Right. 
and I've said this before on his other podcast, and I've said this to everybody. I love crowns, and I call myself the queen because it's a sense of empowerment. Absolutely. So when I see a beautiful, talented woman who BCW. sings my songs, mm-hmm. I might not be able to get up on a stage and do it, but I feel like I could be her because it's what I want. Totally. And you are what you it you are what you want. It, it is. I couldn't agree with you more. I'm, I'm stumbling here, but yes, I. I'm her because in my living room, I stand there with a green face. You do in full green. In well, in, in, green. in my yeah, head, right. in my head, I'm 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 I'm, I'm in. Um, the world is my stage. There are people I've known for years that I have nothing to say to, right. and I find myself great. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to have to think of something to talk about because. I yes. have no clue. You walked in. I've never met you before, and the three of us haven't shut up. Yes, yeah, where we're going so on vacation. That's why. Where? It's, Punta Cana? I don't know. Anywhere. So it's fun. Oh, my God. You don't you know, know where Punta ha- Cana is? And you don't know hair? You know what? Like, what are you? <laughs> I'm fine with this. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Why did you? What kind of a mother am I? I'm at an age where I could confidently say, I don't know anything. <laughs> well, no, that's not a true millennial. You're supposed to know everything. You're or supposed to, huh? You're supposed to think you know everything. You're supposed to think you know everything. I, I am so content in knowing 12 things. <laughs> Me too. I don't know how to turn God, on a computer. You are so cute. <laughs> I think me and your mom really hit it off. <laughs> Jackie, I want to talk. I want to do a little, at least a little interview. Oh, uh, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's how you, it's, it's what it is. It's, you're here. We get to know. Okay. I get to know. Let's do it. From Connecticut. I'm from Connecticut. It's true. Great. So, mom. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. And uh, you studied theater. I did. Uh, Bobby Moynihan. Wait, you know Bobby Moynihan? I don't know Bobby Moynihan. I'm a, I'm a Bobby Moynihan fan. Yeah. The BMF. He soups good. Yeah. Are you guys friends? No, I mean, no. Is there, a, you've met and you've made the connection? Can I, and we've, no, we went to school together. So, he was a He's year. a lot older than you, though. No, is he? Um, I'm doing like Oh, that. yeah. Yes, he is. No, when I was a freshman, he was a senior. senior. Yeah, he must have been. Yeah, no, he was. Yeah, so only. But I just remember how talented he was. And actually, his wife was my very first Nessa in um, really? in Wicked. Yeah, she played my sister in Wicked uh, like years ago when I first first did the show. They were just dating. So um, I never know when to use this or if I'm using it right, but I think this is it. Small world. It is a small world. Isn't it yeah. crazy? Yeah. She was like, oh, my boyfriend. I'm watching him tonight on, on SNL. And I was like, who's your boyfriend? And she was like, Bobby Moynihan. And he I was, was like, on SNL I... right after he graduated college then. Uh, I don't know. Because you were in school still yeah. with her. No, no, no. I wasn't in school with her. No, no, no. no. This was, um, I had graduated and I was in oh, Wicked right. like you years and years and years later. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like I graduated. I, don't, I didn't do Wicked for like, the. I, I, was I 28 when I first went in, no, 29, when I first went into Wicked. So I was like eight years out of school. And I saw, what does this mean? You are the, you've played it more than anybody else? No, that's, I haven't, uh, there's girls that have played it longer you than I have. You just had I a have, longer I have run. played it longer on Broadway than any other girl. No other girl has done two contract on Broadway. So I've done it for two and a half years on Broadway, where the most is Adina, I think, did it for a year and four months. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so my first Broadway contract was a year and five months. So wow. I was already the longest it. running Broadway. Yeah, Alphaba. And now then I went back for another year this past year. And that's when they were like, would you go to LA and do the LA run? And I've always kind of wanted to move to LA, and I'd never spent any time out here. So I was like, "Oh, it's a perfect way." For what me to year do it. did you do it out here? Just now, I just did. Oh, it. The one, so you, yeah, the one when we I saw it in two thousand and eight. Yeah. Yes, no, I I was yeah. doing hair. Oh, I, that was my Broadway debut was hair, and I was that's when I did that. In Brothers or sisters? I have a brother. Older. Younger. Younger brother. Were He's you seven years younger than me? Were you like? Was this something you always wanted to do? Sadly, yes. Yeah, I'm not oh, good at no. anything else. Oh, that's <laughs> and you achieved it. Wow. I did. Yeah, it's so you're singing and dancing and you're doing plays in middle school and high school and this is the life. And I'm going to study theater. I uh, yeah, I uh, I actually started as a dancer. I didn't I didn't take any voice lessons or do any acting until I was in college. So I just wow. danced all through from three wow. to seventeen. And then... Did you not sing at all? Oh, I sang all the time. I just didn't do any, like... I didn't really do many plays or anything. I just sang in the car thinking that the disc jockey would hear me. Uh-huh. 
and I was oh, just Christ. like she's seconds, in the same bubble I'm in. Yeah, just seconds away from getting a huge recording contract. That's what I think. Yeah, all the time. Like it's just like a. Well, it's how like is a, nobody seen? Hello. <laughs> So yeah. you're singing in your car all the time. You're dancing in front of other people. Tons you're of dancing. You're studying theater, and you realize, you know what? I'm a I'm, stripper. I'm a stripper, <laughs> right? Well, you technically, uh, from hair, do you consider yourself to have been a stripper? Well, that, and I then after hair, I did this show called Rock of Ages, where I actually played a stripper. There, you know, there's three stripper dancer mm-hmm. tracks, and I was a stripper. Man, it's so. it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You it's know? a dream. Yeah. It's a dream. It's like at first you see a witch, and then you realize the other context, and it's like, no, we're the witches or whatever. Wait, but, what? Yeah. I did not follow you on that journey. <laughs> I could break it down. I don't Please know if it's, do. it's. I feel it's going to be a longer walk than it's worth, but I could do it in under a minute. <laughs> okay, do go it. ahead. Okay, so here's this girl that comes in and she's sweet and it's nothing but class. But also, it's like, yeah, I'll show a couple of tits, you know, whatever. I'm, you know, I'll dance, I'll do, I'll play a stripper. It's like, so what I'm saying is, some people when they see a stripper, if they only saw you as a stripper, they'd be like. She's not going to come in with class. She's going to come in smoking a cig. Yeah. She's going to bring her own McMuffin, right? The way they see the witch. Yes. This evil bitch, right? Oh, yeah, But yeah. then once you actually break it down and you realize, oh, I'm projecting what I think this is instead of allowing myself to at least, at least recognize maybe there's some questions out there. Yeah. Maybe and then you realize more. you get the best of both worlds. So smart. This you know, is, you uh, raised a smart you know, one. I got to tell you something. It's amazing to me how his mind goes yeah, into logic. Yeah, because I did not get that. But and but then how he made it make sense. Oh, now we're doing a Rubik's Cube. Oh, shit. He really is smart. So. No, he's, <laughs> he's, um, what is it? He on just the, made that worse. He's on the <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> he, he does it in under a minute. Do it for her. You can do it in under he a minute. He does it in under a minute. Five, six, seven, seven. you're late. Go. I'll tell you what I will do. We'll close the show yeah. with me solving the cube before you guys finish your harmony. Oh, he genius. does it in less than a minute because he's, yeah. he's very smart. You and know what I would not do in less than a minute? That. No, he does not smart. I do everything in less than a minute. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm talking about like mm. the Rubik's Cube and having sex. Uh, yeah, yeah. But no, like, we there got are that. things I could do longer. I could like, drive to Vegas you in could, four hours. In four hours. Yeah. That feels right. That's the trip. Yeah. Mom, we're going to go to Vegas. Not you. Ooh, me and you? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's the coffee, the dopamine, the oxytocin, or I'm just excited about a fun podcast, but God damn it, we're going to Vegas. This is a fun Vegas. podcast. I'm into it. No, I mean, I'm really get getting on deals? a plane to like it Buffalo. It doesn't have to be tonight. You know, <laughs> Wait, where are you going tonight? I'm going to Buffalo, New York. To sing your song. And then where do you go? And then I'm going uh, back to New York for a few days, and, and then, then I come back here. Are you moving here? Yeah, I think so. Why? Uh, to do TV and film. Fuck yeah. There's nothing like this industry. Yeah, so... I have a friend, a very dear friend. Do you, may I, who who's on, who does Broadway? He, yeah. And may I, you what? I was going to ask. His name is Ben Fankhauser. Do you know him? He was the second lead in Newsies. In Newsies, I I know of him. And, I don't know. And then him. he did the um, beautiful. He yeah. played. Uh, beautiful voice. Beautiful. He's one of Sings my best face. friends' sons. Oh. Lived next door to us. We grew up next door to each other. Yeah. Congratulations. Small world. So I but that. I was thinking yes. you might know him. He might know you. No, I, I mean, I know of him. I just yeah. don't know him. Excellent talent. This is a this is a flat iron district behind us. I love New York. I love this energy. I love the stoops. I love the fact that nobody's going to blow smoke up your ass unless it's the vent that did the thing to the Marilyn Monroe chick. I'll tell you something. <laughs> Feels right. The truth is, I when I bought my refrigerator years ago from a friend that was in a, I, when I can't think of a word bef- before it, I, I might as well, I might as well, it's like bowling and not, and getting four strikes and then not getting a strike. It's like, why are we even playing anymore? Yeah. Well, you got the turkey. <sighs> What's, thank you. You're welcome. What's, oh, are you stressing, babe? What's it called when you store, storage unit? This was in the storage unit. And I just like, I just took every, he's like, just take it all. I'm like, all right. So I took this yeah. and then I, then when I moved into this place, I like, I guess I could put it there. And then as I, as I started like getting stuff that I wanted, I never needed to f- replace this piece because it, I don't love it. It's the focal point. I, I love it. I love New York, but it's, I've seen it everywhere. It's just an Ikea piece. Nothing against Ikea. Shout out to our sponsors, Ikea and McDonald's, by the way. However, <laughs> it doesn't, shake, doesn't do anything for me. Shake, Jack in the box. Yeah, Shake, Jack in the back in the, Jack in the box. We need this. Why don't you live in New York? Why'd you move here? I feel the same way, Mom. Take the headphones off for a second. I feel the same way about uh, New York as I do about a three-way, where I wish I had had done it, mm-hmm. but I don't need to. Right? I can't do this right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's too much. So no threesome. Listen, so I would, that's off the table. I would. Yeah, I well, would. Ladies, I, again, it's off the table. He's a one-woman kind of guy. I don't know. It's true. 
He is. <gasps> it's true. Boring. Moonos. I'm a boring, I'm Thank a boring you, loser. Next. Thank you, Ariana Grande. That's what that song was about. <laughs> uh, if I move to New York, it's like, uh, I'm here. My friends are here. Yeah, I got yeah. this amazing podcast set up. You do. Right? It's so, genius. But it would have been cool to be able to look back and, oh, I remember when I was 22 and I was just like, I used to walk to do, everyone who lives in New York, comedians, the comedian culture, there's LA and there's New York and there's other places, but those are the two main ones in the States. Right. And New, uh, New York lo- loves to talk about, especially people that lived here and moved to New York or vice versa, when they're comparing them. You know, New York, you're just like, fucking, you go to the cellar, and then you walk down the street, you get a slice of zai, you pop into the Carolines or the blah, 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 you get to do four or five spots a night, and it, it's very romantic the way they explain it, in a way that I've gone to New York for weeks at a time and done that, and it's fine, mm. but there is something that I know isn't true that I still have a sense of nostalgia for, of which I've never truly experienced, which is walking around the city, and what's up, Tebe, fuck you, fucking, you know, like that kind of stuff. I want to like have, have that. I want to have done that, but I don't want to yell fuck you across the street now. Anything. I'm 46. I don't know. You are 46. <laughs> I could play 46. How old am I? <laughs> no, you had him when you were 15. Mm-hmm. Would that be it? Yeah. No. I mean, that would make I'm you 61. Six, I'm 65. I'll be 65. Great. It's a 15. Yeah. You were a sexy, smoking hot mom. My mom was hot. Actually, I, yeah. I We'll was. put up a picture. No, Just so the eyeline matches up. Look, uh, yeah, look. Yeah, look down a little bit uh-huh. right to here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is my, what my mom looked. Oh like. my god! Yeah, what are you stunning. Yeah, and look at and this still one. stunning. Oh, he's gonna show a picture. Oh, I got some good ones. Look out. at this one. Are you naked? <laughs> Wait, what are we looking at? I was just. I'm gonna. I'm he's gonna, gonna put, a picture. He's gonna put so, uh, pictures in when this you're is over. You're basically reacting to oh, the picture in but, picture. But, yeah, but is the second picture even better? What was the second picture? I don't whatever, know. Whatever your choices, we'll find a good picture right. to her match it. Let's do it. Listen. I'll blur I'll blur, blur some of you. Yeah. Ooh. This is so much fun. <laughs> Where are your glasses from? They're so cute. I buy vintage glasses yeah. from vintage stores. I buy vintage sunglasses with the green yeah. uh, lenses. And then I have my prescriptions put in them. Genius. I love it. Vintage hankies, vintage purses, vintage glasses. Is this um are these rose quartz? This one is. Yeah, that helps. And then these are pearls. These are um these are spiritual pearls too, and yeah. then this is just stuff I've gotten along the way. But the the rose quartz helps, right? With anxiety, oh. I'm so sorry. You can have oh, it. Oh, do you believe in that stuff? Yeah, my mom does very much. Fuck yeah! Do you want me to turn on my salt lamp? Seriously, I, I have a salt lamp. You know, you have to be careful though. You can't leave them on because they've had fires. They're, oh yeah, that feels nice. You can have it. No, no you can have it. No. I'll get myself a new no, one. No, I will not Cheers. keep this. But she's beautiful. no, no, Ready no, no. One, and two, actually, three, it's got good karma. <laughs> it's got good karma. No. I'm not keeping it. I'm going to throw it in the garbage. No, not doing it. Okay, then. I'm not taking your beautiful so, beat. I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm going to tell you a little oh. story. I'm in the ninth grade. Yeah. Look, at, here's a pick. I'm in the... No, I'm sorry. Was I in the ninth grade? <laughs> no, I was in the, I was in the um, 11th grade. Yeah. And... Oh, I can't say this in front of Ricky because... No, I... We you were, can say it. It's we fine. All, Earmuffs. We all used to go into the bathroom, and I would watch the other girls smoke cigarettes in the bathroom. Oh, funny that you don't think you could say that in front of me. I understand. Okay. So, Why? because... I could explain later. If okay. So, be. we all would cut and go into the bathrooms, and I would watch the other girls smoke cigarettes. And there was this girl named Mickey, uh-huh. and she wore this silver and turquoise bracelet all the time, and every day for years, I would say, Mickey, that is the grooviest coolest bracelet i love it It looks great on you yeah one day she took it off okay, and put it on my hand i go i can't take this she goes you love it more than me and ever since then that's what i do and i think i'll never forget it yeah. and i probably wouldn't no offense mickey if you're listening to this i probably wouldn't remember her it's been a hundred years yeah but i'll never forget her because she did that and i've done that with other people and people have done it for me and it's like right. so this way i give this to you i know you have it it's got great, I've been wearing it all every day. So it's got great karma on it. It's and got great sweat. energy on it. And this way you have Sexy something sweat. pretty. And I'll give you my dress. Oh, yeah, that would fit me. You know what I mean? Look to, do that again, but look to camera. Oh, no, no, that would fit me. D- d- don't, don't look to camera until after you say it. Okay, that would fit me. <laughs> That's the take. That's the take. I mean, yeah. That's the that take. Would ta- that would look fit it, me. But it looks like if it, I put the dress on know. and they button, the buttons would go to here. The buttons? Honey, yes, because we're yeah, al- we're almost similar in our bodies, but we are. I'm a tiny, t- 
tad bit bustier, larger, bustier everywhere. Here, take this, no, Bobo. If you don't, then it would hurt my Ma, feelings. But you have to acknowledge that. And no, I don't know no, the answer. No, no, she's just feeling. She's just feeling uncomfortable. I don't care. I don't think that she feels uncomfortable. <laughs> take it. At least wear it for the podcast. Wear it in good health, baby. Uh, that was actually awesome the way you just did that. Well, I'm a dude. Oh, I'm, now I like you even more. I'm more of athletic than any guy there. That's an important thing to do for people. Mom, this is beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I love it. It's got good. It's got good energy in it. It does. I love rose quartz. So uh, do I. I hold it when I meditate. I want to actually just so you have context, show a picture of Mickey real quick. Oh. Who gave? Oh, oh, that's oh my right. God! I don't recognize her either. That's crazy. <laughs> And you know, it's so funny because now her, her face just came into my head after all these years. Oh, does she look good? She's darling. She yeah. was then. She looks good. But, but the point is, is that, isn't it funny? Somebody does something for you and it affects you and you carry on. It's Absolutely. A pay, a pay it forward type of thing. Yeah. I have so much stuff. You like it. Now you have it. It's just the way it. it goes. And you'll remember that I gave it to you. And yes. I'll be like, I did this crazy podcast. It was amazing. We went on vacation together. And, yeah. You know, and then we got married. We got married. Oh no, me and you. Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> I'm a good wife, but I don't cook whatsoever. Me neither. I don't cook. Oh, the great. That's why we order in dinners from McDonald's uh, yeah, all the time. I don't cook at all. I, my ex husband did all the cooking. I never had to cook. Do you so, have children? I don't. I have a dog. Oh, I, that's okay. Tabitha oh, sorry, Jane Ricky. Monkey. I was only supposed to be Ed McMuffin, and I'm now. I'm no, 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 no. That's that, thank you. Uh, no, no. This is this is great. I was. I truth be told, I took off my headphones for for the comedy of like well. They're gonna. There they go. I was just doing it for the comedy. I'm having yeah. a great time. Are you though? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm having a good yeah. time too. This is. <laughs> I'm it's just a such an easy time. flow. Yeah, it feels right. So, you have a brother who's seven years younger than you, which is yeah. young enough to where he's not going up to any boys that you're dating and going like, "If you fucking touch her." No, like, actually, I got him girls. You're his like what what you are to your brother is what my mom is to me. Yes, like when I was doing hair on Broadway, there's a there's a theater called Goodspeed um, Opera House in Connecticut that does a lot of great regional theater that sometimes moves to Broadway. Anyways, we live I'm from there, and I was doing hair on Broadway and I had a very cute costume and hair that was like you know like a midriff top and like you know and I was in really good shape and um, yeah and like now my brother would go to the bars and all the girls that were in the good speed shows he'd be talking to like oh yeah my, my sister's on, uh, an actress too she's in this show called hair and they're like who and they'd be like oh he's like Jackie Burns and they'd be like oh my god your sister oh my god I love her blah 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 so and he'd like get him. all these dates so he would call me and be like oh my god Jackie you're getting me so many girls <laughs> how'd that make you feel I was like fuck yeah That's well where is he now yeah I'm actually marrying him in two months in July or is that three well, months well you, you, you're gonna be his uh I'm gonna marry them. They I, they the, asked me to I don't officiano? know justice, offici You have to be licensed for that in the yeah, state. Yeah, you gotta do that. Which you just means... take a, you, just, you just do it. You can just do it online, like even. Yes. Can't so you? this is what my brother and his fiance asked. They were like, they're like Jackie, we wanted to ask you because they're not gonna have a wedding party, and they were like, um, if if you would marry us, and I went, uh, and they know me so well before I could say anything, they're like, but we're gonna take the test online for you. Like we'll do everything for you. You don't have to do anything. And I was Ooh. like, oh yeah, totally. And now now that that's out there, is that something? No, it'll be legal. It's legal. I mean, like, I'm totally going to do it, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I was like, I'm going to go rogue. I'm probably going to say something inappropriate. No, like, when I walked down the aisle when I got married and everybody was staring at me, that was the most uncomfortable moment of my life, even though I'm an actor and I'm used to people, like, staring That's at me. That's different, though. It's different. And yeah. I was walking down the aisle with my dad and everybody stands up and looks at you. And I went, sup, bitches? Because I just was so uncomfortable. Do you have the footage and are you comfortable? <laughs> Don't we didn't get a videographer? I didn't How know. How long were you married? I guess the second time around, I'll do it. Mom, let me ask the questions. Yeah. <laughs> How long was she married? Okay. How uh, long were you married? I was. I actually am still married, um, but we've been separated for three years. We're just really lazy with paperwork. Is that why I noticed you wearing a ring on that finger, but it isn't a wedding ring? No, I just like this ring. But it's on the. I always the, wear a ring on that hand. Yeah. But it's on the. Married. It's on the ring finger. I usually wear rings on all my fingers, honestly. But I just was a little late because I was packing and like showering and like I just like threw a few things on. Well, we have a twelve dollar Ed Big Muffin that's about to arrive. A twelve dollar Ed McMuffin. Yeah. Why is it twelve dollars? Delivery was six. There's a fee for because because if you don't spend at least fifteen on Postmates, they charge you. <laughs> Why didn't, Why you, didn't you tell me I would have gotten? I would have got a hash brown. I would have got a coffee. I would have like killed it. What an you idiot! Want, you want a hash brown and coffee? No. Oh, Ricky, I don't. Wait a minute. I but am, that was that is. This minute. is when guys are idiots. Whoa! Hold on. No, no, guys I, no, mom, are dumb. Uh, mom, you're gonna stop. Mom, you're gonna stop. <laughs> no, and you I'm guys gonna make are myself idiots. look bad. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm not. 
Uh, I asked what you wanted to drink, what you wanted to eat. I, I didn't want to ask you too much. I sent you a message this morning. My mom's going to a deli, and then she changed her mind right after I messaged you. I'm like, oh, fuck. And, I'm, and when you walked in, is there anything I could get you? I didn't want to... It's here. You know what? You're right. I'm an idiot. I'm a guy. I'm a guy idiot. You're a guy idiot. And doesn't have go blood. Go get her. Mom, Just go get me some gin okay. and weed. Excuse me. God. Let me say something now that he's not here. Thank you. The fact <laughs> that anyone knowing me, yeah, I would get as if I knew that there was a minimum. Yeah, I would, I would get, get as, as much as into I could. It. Otherwise, what's does the he point? Know? I, I mean. You no. just spent six dollars for nothing, and you could have gotten so much more. I mean, I would have gotten food and just given it to the homeless. Yeah, because the you're point a good being, person. Well, yeah. I mean, one fucking sandwich when we could. I could have used another coffee. Yeah, I haven't had coffee yet today. But we would. He didn't. He ask if you wanted a Starbucks because he asked me. He didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Wow, the whole vibe has gone. It's gone. It's, it's gone changed, down, and yeah. I. I don't, I don't think there's going to gonna do. be any Vegas, and I think I, don't, that I think it's over. I think it's over. Do you want well, this Well, this back? was fun. No, well, kind of. No. Yeah, no, can, here. No, wear it in good health. Keep it. I get it. <laughs> I want you to have it. Take it back to <laughs> I'm going to leave a it. fucking God. $15 Egg McMuffin. I mean, who spends $15 on an Egg McMuffin? What? He was on a TV hey, show. Uh, yeah. Andrew, he brought our food. Thanks, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Andrew, do you mind coming in for one second? Yeah, uh, we want to talk to you, Andrew. Uh, are you comfortable being on the video? You don't have to. Andrew, you want to yeah, be on it. Get in there. Okay, uh, hi, Andrew. You know what, Andrew, do you mind taking your shoes off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Andrew. Andrew he come did come not sign up for this. Andrew, come on in. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm actually on my lunch break. Too. Perfect. Oh, how wonderful. Good. Would you like a $12 do you you want a two, Yeah, do you want a $16 um, egg cream oven? So, uh, Andrew, um, didn't I ask for a coffee and hash brown? They were out, unfortunately. You're a lying sack of shit. <laughs> I brought him in here. They were out. How dare you lie to my face? <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, this is fun. Hold on. How, d- Andrew? Hi. Hi, I'm Jackie. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. Hi, Andrew. I'm, I'm Mom. Mom, introduce Jackie to Andrew. How, how, how special of a guest this is. This is a special oh guest. Oh, my God. Very Broadway special. Broadway star. Wow. Wicked. I heard it oh my God. Do you even know what Wicked is? Uh, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know the show Wicked? Andrew I seemed don't. like the kind of person that did not know Wicked, and I appreciate that. All right, Andrew, on, on that note, would you run back to McDonald's and get hash browns? Mom, and- Andrew, I have a question for you. Yeah. If I give you cash and I want to go through Postmates, would you get hash browns and a coffee? No, sure. absolutely oh, not. No, Great. I will cut you. Great. All right. <laughs> Andrew's like this. It's just my lunch break and I want to go home. Okay. Well, okay. Are you giving her a wet napkin? You? What do I need a wet napkin for? The fingertips. What? My oh, fingers? that was sweet. What are you doing? That? So what are the, we on? Like a? Are we on a? Right. That was yeah, nice. What are we on an airplane? That's, yeah, I was like, I feel like a hot towel on an airplane. <laughs> when, you, when you have eat the egg McMuffin, yeah, and then your fingers are gross. Oh my god, that's so smart. That's so. Oh, I guess sweet. I'm just a guy. You are, because I mean, you literally spent fifteen dollars on this egg McMuffin. Listen, I fifteen dollars. Come on in. That's all I wanted. Okay, I'm thank you. you. Uh, no offense or anything, but if I were you, I'm I'd go home and Google Wicked. Bye, sweetie. Oh my god. I'm gonna walk you out. You know what? This is delicious. You, sure you know why? I do. No, do I don't. <laughs> it would it'd be my pleasure. It would be our pleasure. Okay. This is everything I've ever wanted in my life. Thank uh, you, Andrew. You know why it's so great, too? Why? Because you haven't had it in a long time. I haven't had it in so long. I know. It's like, I, I'm not doing carbs and I'm not doing sugar. Yeah. Or low carbs because it's really bad to no not do it. No sugar? Well, That's because I'm try, I want to lose 15 more pounds, but I also am just trying to... It's making me feel better. Is it? But I'm saving myself for my Jack in the Box tacos. Dude, Which will probably put me in some kind of carbohydrate coma. Yeah, I'll probably But the die bottom line is because I haven't delicious. had everything in so long. But you know, when you haven't had it in a long time, it's like oh so delish. This is like, this is like the it's best. It's like thing orgasmic, ever. isn't it? Mm-hmm. I know. Honey, you are the cutest boy ever. Oh my God. Isn't he the cutest boy ever? Thank you so much. You're isn't welcome. This, more fu- See, this is, I mean. You're going out with a sandwich you haven't had in a long time. You got yourself a, a, a rose quartz bracelet. You've had fun. You met us. I mean, I mean, seriously. The Real York- quick, uh, shout out to Andrew Howard 33 on Instagram who delivered our Postmates. So go ahead and uh, give him a me- uh, shout out and um, make sure you're kind. Just say, you know, say nice things and uh, give him a follow. Uh, I hear he is hysterical. Just- that kid that never saw uh, uh, Wicked? Yeah. yeah, shout out to him and tell him, go Google some Broadway shows. I mean, really, Andrew? So, so I don't know what I'm you, s- continue what you said <laughs> uh, about the $11, by the way. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, that sound. 
Oh, oh, Ricky doesn't like the sound of anybody chewing. So, Ricky, no, why don't fine. you explain yourself to her? You don't like the way somebody eats. You don't understand. There was something in the breast milk. I think. Oh wow. I mean, so good. I mean, s- such a stage actress the way you're acting <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, mm. and subtle. It's subtle. You're gonna kill it in multi cams. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah all multi cam <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so, I'm feeling a little defensive, and I recognize that. So. Uh-huh. A, a big part of me says, who cares? But also, I, I do want to acknowledge it. It's crazy to spend $11 on an Egg McMuffin. It's fucking nuts. If I, There should be gold in here. I feel like there is. There should be oral sex <laughs> that comes on with after you eat you it. You know, let's not be too liberal, all right? Absolutely. Really? For me. Yeah, what, fine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine. Man, I'm loving flirting right now. <laughs> Love is a flirt with a married woman. Um, let me I'm ju- not. She's not married. married. Prove it. Um, how I'm about not married. Mom, go find dad for a minute. <laughs> I was going to say, I need to take a walk, I think. <laughs> I think I'm in the way. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just going to eat this. I want to make sure she sees the sixth lead. Oh, yes. We have to talk about that. Okay. Mom. Uh, Ricky wrote, produced, directed, casted, starred in, and made a, a web series. And it's won so many awards. And it's five, five minute, right? Five, five minute stories. And it's hysterical and it's brilliant. And I want to make sure you watch it. I'm going to watch it right after we okay. finish it. Okay, it's called The Six Lead. I just Tell have... her what it's about. You can check it out at thesixlead.com. Sixlead.com. Mm-hmm. I was the sixth lead on a television series where I didn't have much to do. And Which show was that? It was called Undateable on NBC. It was on three seasons. It should have been more, but they were. It didn't. And uh, you were six on the call. sheet. I was six on the call sheet, and I made a little series uh, about that. Uh, about about that, um, where everyone played a version of themselves, and it was the story of me meeting with my boss and trying to get more lines and blah 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 blah. It's That's an, really funny. It's an exaggeration of the truth, but it's what what is it called? An exaggeration of the truth. It's a, an exaggeration of the truth, and made. I'll up. be honest, you'll freak. It's, it's really good. so you'll good, freak. but I, it's really. I want to be on it. Well, it, it's, it's already done. made, and he but already you, won. I mean, do you want to make a new web series with me? I don't know. Okay, I understand that. What does that Something, mean? I haven't okay. seen what she could do single cam. I mean, this is single cam stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. well, so she, could, she eats an egg McMuffin. Well, she, yeah. I'm not gonna have that part. What do you think about the wet napkin? I love it. You get it, right? I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm what not gonna I, lie to you. What I, I like to it. do is I like to wash my hands, dry oh. it with a paper towel, mm. and then get a paper towel for my lap. And then the, the, the wet paper towel from the drying, it's the perfect amount of wet for this. And then that's the one that gets dirty. And then later, this paper towel that was dry is my next dry my hand paper towel. And I believe the circle of life is the song. How does it go again? Two, three, four. I'm not in that. I'm white. You're not in, you don't know the Lion King? She's saying that on, in Broadway, that the majority of the cast of the Lion King is, what is it? Is it Asian? Um, I, ethnic, and I'm and and yes. I so I've never been in for Lion King. Hence, I, I don't really know many musicals unless I've been in them because I am actually so cool. Don't really like you know. I watched <laughs> the Lion King. This was a delight. Great. I'm just gonna put this here. I watched the Lion oh, King yes. cast on the plane and in other places singing their songs mm-hmm. like in front of like random strangers. Mm. Gets me. Really. Yeah. I'm, I have no heart, so nothing really. Is that, t- hold on. Why, what's that joke mean? What do you mean? You have no heart. What does that joke mean? I, I don't know. But that kind of stuff is giving me. I'm like, oh, that's cute. So do you feel that you, that you lack empathy in places outside of musicals? Um, I don't really care about musicals. Right, I'm saying other than musicals. I mean, I love musicals. I'm not talking about but musicals. But I'm just not somebody I'm not talking like, about musicals. Yes. We're not talking about, musicals don't exist right now. Great. Okay. Do you feel that you have no heart in now? No, I'm a big crybaby. Oh, okay. For myself. Oh, you know. Oh, the Give me an example. <laughs> when you accomplish something, it's like a, I did it, I did it type of thing? No, it's more of a like, I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. You know, that's more of where I go. <sighs> so you're in college. Yeah. And you're, and, you're, <laughs> and you're doing theater. Yeah. And you think to yourself, this is what I want to do for a living? Yeah. And... Is this, uh, is this a dream that you hope comes true? Is this something that you think... When I decided to move out to Los Angeles to be a comedian or an actor, or just you know, do funny stuff, uh, mostly because of her, yeah. there wasn't a... Yeah, I'm going to go out there and it's going to be... I'm not... 
we're we're gambling our our life on this. But right. to me, it was like it's a sure thing. I, I I know the guy who owns the horse. He's an amazing horse. I guess I was doing an analogy for like a horse race. Mm-hmm. But I, that's crazy to think that. Right. It's confidence. It's confidence. It was unearned at the moment. No, but it's, I'm curious where matter. you are. It's, it's positive thinking. I, yeah, I have always been the same way. I'm like, I'm not, uh, of course I'm going to make it. Like, why wouldn't I? Also, I'm not good at anything else. So it's There's no happen. alternative. Yeah, so are there people it. in your program that felt this way about you? Do people, are you like the popular girl and like she's the star I in mean, college? Look at me. So yeah, Just yeah. No, I mean, because it seems that way. I mean, you act that way. It worked out. You're unbelievably talented. I have to imagine there's something there where it's like. No, I used to get made fun of because I did sing. Because I went to school. I went to UConn for straight acting, and there was no musicals there. So I thought um, you graduated with a theater degree. Yeah, from for acting, theater BFA. There was as, no musicals. Oh, when you say straight acting, you still mean stage, but Seriously. that's yes. what straight acting means. Yeah. I understand. Oh, I forget. Like out out here, it's like. TV and film is what straight acting. Is. Well, yeah, I mean, when you say yes, that's what I misunderstood. That makes sense, though. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so theater. Right, theater, but not musicals. Not musicals. So like Chekhov, you know, Shakespeare, mm-hmm. absurdist theater, that kind of stuff. Classical. And classical theater. But you yeah. like that still too. I do, mm-hmm. but like once you're musical, once you do musicals, then you're not a real it's, actress it, anymore. So you don't. You really mean go they don't think you're a real yeah, actress yeah, yeah. anymore? It's right. it's harder, yeah, to get seen for straight All, plays. Although usually a comic or a person that can do comedy and or and um, singing and mm-hmm. will work more. Uh, no, they usually they're usually more versatile and can do the serious role. Yeah, it's just a stigma. I think that mm-hmm. is in the business that if you're in a musical then you're not a real actor you're just a singer like I went out with somebody the other day and they were like well could you consider yourself an actor you're or you're just a singer I don't understand you're acting and singing that's what I did I went wow yeah I like that you like that mom lock it up for a second okay so I know it's cool he has to say that otherwise I'll keep going I like it so uh I just I want to I want to understand this because you you're you're unbelievable you're so nice. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. You could but be my best friend out here when I'm here. Sincerely, though, un- unbelievable. Thanks. And I don't know much of the show, and I'm there, and I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done. You know, I'm, <laughs> it's, it's, it's on. Yeah, okay. It's on. Uh, so I just, I'm just, you know, college. You're not a kid. You know, you're still, you're not in the prime of your of your talent yet. But you're, you know, you're, you gotta be. Good. You know this person that's gonna be this person, right? So how how is that not stand sh- obvious to the other people in theater because you're not singing it? They don't see that side of you. No, actually, I got in a lot of trouble because I I'm not, I'm not really a hard I'm a hard worker, but like I'm kind of a little bit of a procrastinator, and so like if whenever we would have to perform, you know, I would learn my monologue or scene like an hour before where everybody else would be working on it for like the week and stuff. What difference does it make if you got, if you did it? I know. So my college professor Eric Hill brought me in one day and was like think about he was like do you know how annoying it is for everybody else in your class that you don't put any work into it and then you come out and you blow them out everybody out of the water well, that's because you're skull talent and they're like he was like think about how good you'd be if you actually put any effort oh, into wow. it do you think that's because things come easy to you the things that you want to do and you've developed an instinct to not need to or at least feel the, the feel that you don't need to put in extra work I back in the day I used to and now and then you get to a level where everybody like you know is amazing and now I have to put the work in I can't just like rest on my laurels of like oh yeah I'll just like wing it you know where I used to what kind of work like what kind of work are you putting in I mean when you're singing is it I mean, I take voice lessons twice a week. I go to my I, mean, I go to my voice teacher religiously twice a week for a half hour, the first show of the week on Tuesday, and then mid show on Friday, so that I never that I try to like you know you can't help but get into bad habits when you're singing something eight times a week. It's what's an example of a bad habit? Like you know, say I might make a vowel too dark. I'm opening up, and rounding it too much, and starting to go on the like lower end of the pitch. You know what I mean? Or and uh, you may not recognize this, and somebody is there to watch you and say, Well, no, my voice teacher isn't there to watch me. I I recognize well, that. What's the voice crazy. teacher? Do. Easy. What does she do? What is the voice? I, so I'll go to my voice teacher and I'll be like, you know, I don't like the way I'm singing the end of Wizard and I. And so like I'll sing it. Oh. And she's like, okay, yeah. She's like, and usually it's not the the note the like the note that you're having problem with is usually not the note is that's the problem. It's the note before. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, so like you know I'll sing and she's and I'll be like, you know, I, this is going flat. And she's like, well, it's because you're setting it up and you're going too round and heavy on the note it's before. Funny, it's like an uh, that there's there's an art to just 
the vowels that mm-hmm. you're, and, it, and one goes right, flows right to the next one yeah, properly or not. Yeah, one's like too not. spread or too that's rounded. That's so, and that's... What's, what's, what, what is an example of you go in and you're saying, hey, what's, what's your name? Donna. Donna Reed. Donna. Is that funny? Oh, Donna with the pearls. I yes. love pearls. But it's, yeah, no. uh, um, my, um, so my vowels are a little dark and run shit off. Uh, uh, help me out. And what, is, what, what do you guys do? So I'll just like sing through, so like so say like Wizard and I, I am like having a hard time with like the me, like all to do with me, you know, and so we'll sing from like a few before that and she'll figure out like, oh no, it's not that, you're going under on this note. But you've done it before properly, down. so I don't, I'm confused. Because you can't not do something eight times a week and if you're the in same. the moment, mm-hmm. you're you're gonna you're not thinking about your technique 24 7 and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden you just like mechanically start getting into like a wrong placement you know mm. sometimes like oh god i'm smiling at too much and it's getting too spread and i have to like remember to like keep it does that make sense yes so i go to her to constantly, i never thought of that constantly keep me in check so that i don't get into bad habits and make wow. those things that's great a habit. so i'm trying to always like nip it in the butt nip You've, it in the bud you're done with wicked mm. and now you want to move out here yeah. and do film and television. Yes. Do you see yourself stepping away from musicals or putting it on pause? Putting it on pause. Do you have a goal? Is there something you want to, uh, that you want to do out here? Is uh, it movies? Is it, is it a sitcom? Is it dramatic acting? Uh, oh, hey. Sorry, I got distracted. Hi, Your handsome Hi, dad babe. came in. It was just I like know. a party. Is, is that, am I the luckiest girl You guys ever? are both so cute. Do you still have a podcast? Yeah. 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 Yeah, do you want to come and hang out? No, come and say hi so you're come, on the camera. Yeah, come everybody wants to see you. Um, Do you have brothers and sisters? I have an older brother, yeah. How old is your brother? He's 35, Se- seven, six? 37. How old am I? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's, How old are he's you? just 37. 35. 34. You'll be 35. It's I'll, I'll, also When's be your birthday? July. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're 35. That's like, but you know what? I'm the same way because my birthday is in October and like uh, the second January, I... January 1st, I become the year that I'm going to be. Yeah. yeah, but you guys look good. Feel, I mean, you know, <laughs> my mom, how old am I? Yeah, my dad's right, 65. Here, you know what? My Jack, dad's 65 and my mom's ja- 61. Wait, how old are you? I'll be 65 July 1st. Oh my God. Jackie, uh, as, a, as a little screen test here, yeah. uh, let's, I'll have you uh, for two minutes interview my parents and then... Uh, Great, let's do it. Get out of here. We'll see how it goes. Okay. And I'll send it to... Stevie, I'm she's I'm friends delish. with a lot of bigwigs in this industry. I feel, that feels right. Uh, uh, you? Bru- yeah. And then I'll put up some pictures of some people. Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> we worked together on, uh, that on Angels and Demons. He, he cuts, he'll cut through all this and you'll see all the biggies. Wait, really? Does <laughs> he do that? Mm-hmm. No. You wait, when the, when the podcast is over, he'll edit it, sure. Really? Yeah. And then I he, can't that's even why he on was, a computer. That's why he was putting the pictures, pretend pictures of me I know, here. but I thought you were joking and like, no. that was the joke. No, you'll see it. <laughs> It'll be, you'll go, oh, look at how. <laughs> it's nice to be back in the chair. <laughs> Does it feel right? Yeah. Feels right. Hi, babe. Feels good. Where'd you go for a while? I walked. That's sexy. So, um, let me. How did you guys meet? Oh, you don't want to know. It's I do. I want to meet. That'll I kill the whole know. segment. Why? Yeah. Go ahead. I, I I don't know how to do it short, but I'll do it as short as I can. Okay. I'm living in San Francisco. Sexy. He lives in Cleveland. Okay. Wow. He came out on business. We meet. Um, my best friend Lolly here um, introduces us. We go out. Um, I had another date. The four, Lolly and Stephen and I and the other date went out dancing. The next day, Stephen and I went out by ourselves, and because he's on doing on business, but we're there. Yeah. And in San Francisco, okay, I'll be. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna interrupt real quick. If you're trying to trim the fat, like the on the bed, I'm actually on business. I'm and you know like I remember. I remember actually. It's when I start stopped having coffee. Remember those a few years where I just went tea for like those. All right, are, trim the fat, baby. Trim the fat. Sorry about that. We met. You stopped having coffee. We spent. He's Good just making you. up. We we spent the day in San Francisco on Saturday. <laughs> he told everybody that we were um, in ga- that we were married from Ohio. I said I'll never go to Ohio, and then he um, s- s- slept over that night. And then um, oh yeah, he did. baby. All Quay right, yeah. all right. Hey, he, he gave me a pill, and I slept with him that night. And then <gasps> he asked me to marry him the next day, and then and that was it. Forty one years ago. Seriously? Uh-huh. Yeah. Is that my? Point? I met him on a Thursday. This is what I say. Is I, it me? Just turn off. I'm so sorry. Who is it? Is it Broadway? Oh, if it's Broadway, oh God, we're going to get Broadway. it. It's Broadway. Is it answer? No, and my phone said do not disturb, so I don't understand. They must have called twice. Also, mom, Rude. is Broadway 
<laughs> I don't know. Could be yeah, somebody. Actual Broadway. Well, I didn't think that the right stage now. was calling, but it could have been a person. Oh, they called twice in a row. That's how they got through. Okay, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Get out of here. Okay, so you, you we really, met on Thursday. Really, wait, but he really asked you to marry him the day after? We met on Thursday, Shut went out on door. Friday. Yeah, I slept with him on Saturday, and he asked me to marry him on Sunday, and so then I moved to Ohio. I was 24 so, years old. So what I hear old. from this story, what I glean from this story, is that you are amazing in bed. I must have been. All right, keep it rolling, guys. Good. I'm just saying. <laughs> it was good quaaludes. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're asking her to we marry were, you the next day. And then I moved to Ohio right after that, and he was supposed to come back with me. I had my apartment still in San Francisco, and he was going to come back in a month, and it's, yeah. well, I'm still in Ohio with the apartment. And still. the most ironic thing is both our kids live Move here. here. <laughs> That's so crazy. I know. We, I, and so I'm in, I'm in Ohio 41 years, and then our kids come here. Where in Ohio? We live in a Cleveland suburb. Oh, okay. Orange Village. You know, funny story about Ohio. When I first did Wicked, um, Ohio was one of my first stops in Columbus, Ohio. And somebody saw me on the Cleveland News, and I had an audition to be a weather girl oh. in Cleveland. Oh, that's so funny. So my life could have been so yes. much different. Yes. Well, then, it was like, you know. Then, then you would have been at my house every here. Sunday for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, I would have been you a local star. Can't make any star. money, local weather person. I don't know. It was yeah. the most random thing ever. But that's was, complimentary. It was very sweet. I was like, yeah. I yeah. remember calling my parents and I was like, I'm going to be a local weather girl in Cleveland. <laughs> I have to drive from Columbus to Cleveland before it's the two show. Two and a half hours. Yeah, it was two and a half hours to do this. And audition. you did it. I did, of course I did. I was 28 and was like, okay. How old is she now? <laughs> I thought she's 25. Oh now. my God, I love you. I am. Right. I'm 25. Never ask a woman her age. For Never. No, no. I teach him that How all the time. How much do you weigh, though? Oh, my God. 132. <laughs> no. I do. How tall are you? 5'7". Five, 5'7"? Seven. Five, seven? No, you're, you're, you're 126. I wish. I'm all muscle. Muscle weighs four times more than fat. Yeah, we all know that. Yeah, come on. hey <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is a fun... Stephen, this is the most fun podcast. She's adorable. I'm going to get high smelling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what that? Tell him, honey. Tell him what that's called. Uh, it's called a, uh, a banaka buzz. Banaka buzz. He had a dog. He had a Dalmatian, by the way. The, a racist, disgusting dog who <laughs> hated women and hey, hated trim babies. Trim the fat. Trim the fat. No, that's not the fat. That's the fact. He he oh, was this right. Dalmatian it's dog not the fat, who it's was the fact. he was a racist. Dog who wanted Bianca. to eat my children. He was the most obnoxious dog. No offense. His mother, who couldn't stand me when we first met. Honey, told, why was it called a banaka buzz? Because Stephen used to take the pot and blow it into the dog's face, and the dog would go, ugh, the little racist dog. It's a contact eye. Yeah, contact yeah, eye. Right. Yeah. So we, in our family, we call it a banaka buzz. And then we, the dog, his mother stole the dog. Thank God. I feel like I should have you guys bring me to buy some weed for sleeping. I have uh, it's CBD oil. It doesn't work. CBD gummies. Doesn't, doesn't work. work. Okay. The only thing that works is indica. Yeah, indica, yes. right? Yeah. Well, what's yeah. indica? When you're this this crazy, you know, yeah, like my right. body laughs at that right. shit. CBD you have trouble oil, sleeping? Like, you have trouble you know, sleeping yeah. at night? Of course. I'm crazy. There, there's a different dosage you could do. I'm telling you. You have to oh. clear oh, your yeah. head before oh, you sleep. You're skeptic. I understand. <laughs> Hey, I do. I what? meditate now. I know. A little did I know that the the. All right, Dave, I'm gonna sit there. Get up. All right. Oh, Love you. thank you, everybody. This is really fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, sweetie. Love Trim you. Trim the fat, honey. Trim the fat. Oh my God! How long has been married? You still love each other? Forty-one. Are you more kidding? Than more than ever. Really? That's oh. so sweet. God, and I'll tell you the trick. Husband. I'll tell you the trick. Get out. Best friends and laugh a lot. Yeah. Don't take it all so hard and just laugh and touch. Never stop holding hands and touching and being best friends. Being yeah. kind. Well, if I I always say kindness. And being high. And, and yeah, and kindness. Kindness yeah. is the trick. When oh. you're kind, I'm not saying that every relationship, but we, we like each other. Yeah, that's... that's nice. And liking brings love. Yeah. Oh, I love that man. All right, so... Love him. That's so sweet. I love him. Look how good look and he's like He's my, a very good looking. He's my dude. trophy husband. You're gorgeous too, so oh, you need to calm oh, it down. Oh, oh, I really like him. <laughs> gorgeous. So Can't nice. tell you the last time that word was used, but You are. Uh-huh. Gorgeous. That's the word. <laughs> Bring the picture back up. <laughs> there it is. Good Here job. she is pregnant with me. Oh, wow. I was Aww. really cute when I was pregnant. Actually, I was thinner when I was pregnant. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm so afraid of being pregnant. Oh, why? Oh. 
I don't know. No, he wants a baby. You should have a baby. Well, he can't do it alone. I, I can do it alone. I feel like you could totally, you can, I'll, I'll introduce to some girls out here. I, uh, I have some stripper friends that are super sexy. That's not what I'm interested in. <laughs> he wants a real woman. <laughs> Dad, we could hear you over there. I love you. Quiet down. This is the, this is the, this is the meat. This is the meat. This is why I asked you this here. This is the meat. All right, let's do it. Yes. How old are you? <laughs> She already told us. Mom? Oh, sorry. Mom, you, I'm going to ask you to leave. <laughs> I'm trying to have a back and forth. I'm trying to flirt, and I'm trying to ride a wave. Um, Old enough. Okay. I want to know what, what, what the, to move out here after you've established yourself it's in a hard. career. Yeah, I mean. I'm moving in with you. I don't mean, I don't have a place. You. I need connections. You could stay here sometimes, assuming I, I have some rules. Yeah. Some rules. Take the shoes off. Jesus yeah, that's Christ. a microcosm of the idea and what it stands for. Of which, when you came in... I said, should I take off my shoes? Loved. Yeah. And you understand, you're tracking everything in. You're tracking in poopy and pee pee. Also, dirt, cigarette butts, yeah. spit, just gravel, just everything. Just yucky stuff. I'm just going to stay on your couch for a few weeks. That's fine. I'll put okay. sheets down. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. You're I, mean, I sleep naked. Yeah, I'll put sheets down. Great. <laughs> what happens if there's an earthquake or something? In California, it's tough to sleep naked. You want to be able to get out and l run outside. Really? Yeah. I'm not shy. I mean, I, I've been naked on bathroom. Broadway. I've been naked on Broadway. It's yeah, like, but you were naked on Broadway when it was about you. When it's an earthquake, it's about the city. So and there's lovely. nothing. Well, it isn't. You know what I mean? Okay. God, you have beautiful teeth. Thank you. <laughs> I'm looking from the side. You really are really adorable. Oh, my God. What is it like to be just loved so much? Oh, no. Much? You know what's sad? I love... What is it like to be you loved You could bring the microphone so back with you. My what is it like to be loved so much? You, I could have showed you, but you want to introduce me to your whore friends. I will. So. You, oh, you, I won't, or? I'm saying I could have showed you. Me. Oh. I don't know. I mean, did you want it? Is that? I don't know. I mean, is this happening? I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you, it's it's comedy flirts, but yeah, something's going on with me right now where I'm into it. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to pretend this is a joke. Okay, I'm great. I'm doing it for the camera, but it's it's coming from someplace. Which camera? That one. I'm, there's only one camera. And that's mine, right there. Yeah, that feels good. I want to, for real, I want to figure this out because you, I can understand, I have a friend who's a comedian who is now, who's, who's paying his bills and his mortgage, being a comedian, but it's not for him. He's going back and he's doing law school and he's in his early 30s. Okay. It's a big change. Yeah. I understand that if that's not something you want to do anymore or if you're not, you don't have successes in it, but... Not knowing much about you and your story other than I saw you on this great show and you have these credits that I, it feels like these are big accomplishments. Right. You're, I mean, what does making it mean? But you have established yourself in New York in an industry and would probably be able to continue doing that. You don't want to because it cannibalizes this other thing that you want to do, right? I just feel like um, Broadway isn't going anywhere. And uh, Broadway meaning Broadway, not you on yeah, Broadway. Broadway will always be there. Broadway will always be there. There'll always be opportunities. And uh, if not now, when? Like, mm -hmm. you know, I've why not diversify? Why not be able to do everything? Yeah, because you could do it all. Right. So when you were younger did, and you, you dreamed of doing this, did you dream of the stage or did you dream of doing movies and TV? I dreamed of anything, just performing, performing. in general. I've always, I hate the cold. Mm -hmm. I hate the cold so much. If it was up to me, I'd own like a bikini and some flip flops and that's it. And like wake up to the beach every day. I, I, I love warm weather. I, I get seasonal depression. Like I don't, yeah. I would never live in New York if it weren't for Broadway. Like mm -hmm. I love New York as a city, but like I, people that need season changes, I get you. I understand you. I'm not one of them. But I you am can do no theater here too. Yeah, I don't want to, but I'm I mean, just saying you have. Mom is doing that thing that she does where she tries to fix everything. Yeah, and, and it's, that's, beautiful. it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But she's, she, you know, she could do it if she wants to. Yeah. So I just feel like, and here's the thing: like if I give a year of my life here and try it, and it doesn't work out for me, I go back to New York, and no harm, no foul. If you could do anything, if somebody says, "I saw you," uh, I'm a big wig uh, mm -hmm. producer. Yeah. A lot of. A lot of stuff. A lot of I I have. A I can make it happen. Yeah. No. What would I want to do? I'd be like, I would say, put me on a TV show with Rick, and let's just make some stuff happen. I love that. You know, I love that so much. Yeah. What kind of television show though? Um, just mostly about myself. You know? oh, oh You my want God. you want to do like a multicam live studio audience? Um, probably because I yeah they would enjoy me. Right. 
You know? So you want to come out and before the show, they show the, the audience the pilot and then yeah. they introduce the cast and uh, uh, they would introduce you last, of course, because you'd be the most important. Call one on they the would chair. introduce me probably third to last because like I have an important role, but like I'm, I'm the color. You yes. know, I'm not I'm not driving story. Exactly. Um, and then and uh, everybody, Jackie Burns and they're going nuts for you and you nuts. walk out. You when you wave, are, are you are you like this feels good. I appreciate you guys coming here. Or are you turning on the, I'm an actress, you're welcome. You know, how, how are you thanking the audience for applauding you in a moment like that? I'm always like, thank you so much. So you're appreciative. I'm so appreciative. Say she's appreciative. Right. I, I can't believe wrong. how much, uh -uh. like I think about like when people are like, oh God, like that's a big controversy in Broadway about going out the stage door. You know, because you like give everything you have on mm -hmm. the stage, and sometimes you just want to go home, mm -hmm. which and not have to like you know sign and do mm -hmm. all that for another half hour. That's not part of your job. And half the time, I get it in the winter because everybody's sick, and you can get sick, and then you can't do your job because you can't sing because you're sick. Mm -hmm. But for me, I, I, it's never a burden because how many people get to like mm -hmm. leave the their work day with people, people standing up applauding you and you. wanting to take your picture yes. with you and like have it's like. Thank you. That's so lovely. I'm so lucky to be able to do something like that. That's pretty. How does, how does it make you feel when people want to take pictures with you? I like it's so nice. Do you ever not want to? When I look crazy, of course not. Like, well, why would you look crazy? Well, you know, after Wicked, it is hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. When you finish the show, I've just been green. Mm -hmm. I don't get to leave like Glinda or like a normal anybody else in the show that wears like normal makeup and has normal hair you know like I have green all in my hairline I have been in a wig and I have like no makeup on with like a tinge of still green oh. and I look like a homeless person mm -hmm. you know and it's it's not the most flattering and most beautiful I ever feel that's for sure and so there's a lot of pictures of me looking crazy mm -hmm. is is because New York's a big place yeah um but do you I don't know what the scene's like there as far as celebrity. Do you right. do do you get recognized? Because I mean, most people, I'm sure, even when they see the show, they don't know what you look like. Yeah, it's really actually really funny. Like most people, unless they're like diehard fans of mine, if they're just going to see the show and don't know anybody in the show, they don't know who I am. Especially because I leave and I wear a baseball hat when I leave the mm -hmm. show. Is there ever a moment where you want it? Is there a moment where like you're walking down, you know, fiftieth, or you're near where people are there, and you see a billboard and and you. Uh, no. You like stand under it and like look I for it? I actually think it's really funny because a lot of times when I go walk, I, I don't, I go to the theater pretty late, you know, so like I don't really get there really early. So when I get there, people are going into the theater, you know, like uh -huh. and taking pictures in front of the wicked sign. And a lot of times people would be like, oh, do you like stop me as I'm walking and be like, can you take a picture of us in front of the <gasps> sign? And I think it's hilarious because I'm like, you have no idea you're about to watch me for three hours, oh, that's you know, so groovy. and I love it. I'm like, yeah, have fun. Enjoy that's, the show. That's so or like I'll be on the subway platform after the show waiting for the subway. And there's a million people that had just seen the show and they have no idea who I am. And they're oh. talking about the show oh. and that then I usually like walk away because I don't want them to like. Say, what if they say something bad about me? That would be pretty busted. Oh my gosh! Because that used to happen to me a lot. I stood by for this woman named Adina Menzel, who oh, really this woman named Adina. Menzel. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, yeah. So this, she's amazing, and I stood by for her on Broadway and If Then before I took over the role, and I would leave the theater, and nobody knew who I was, and they'd be like. Oh God! Like, could you imagine if if she wasn't on and you had to watch whoever is the girl that like goes on for her? I would, I would, I would leave. And I'm, who can you know hold a candle? There, you know, like just so many. And you're like, I'm right behind you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. And you know what? I'm not bad. Let me tell you something. Um, I, she's one of my favorites. Yeah. And putting her on you, you know, the YouTube. Yeah. Singing it, and then putting you on the YouTube singing it, honey. You're pretty f Thank you. fucking fabulous. No, she's wonderful. I just, it's no, just funny no, to me. Like, you know, people like, have no idea. I want to like, sh show you uh, a friend of mine, um, David, no, you're, David I mean, Finn. Yeah. Uh, from, he's, he's Irish, technically, but a British guy. And he uh, was in School of Rock yeah. uh, on the, the West guy. End. He was the main yeah. guy. And um, when I went to London uh, and he happened to have been there too. This was after, he was done with the yeah. show, but all the posters are still his face. And the difference between you and him. And I just want to show you this video of him uh, standing under his billboard. <laughs> so that's what I'd be doing. He's just waiting for somebody to recognize him. I would. Hi, it's me. Hello. I went because to it the, feels what? good. Of course it, it does. It feels good. So why, why... Why, when you're taking a picture, if I'm taking a picture, okay, yeah. and I'm 
you know, or whatever, but I'm Is great. that what you do? It's, I'm no. very broad. Yeah. It, it, so you're good with multicam. I would have killed in the 80s. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if I'm good with multicam. I've been on it and it got canceled and I was a sixth lead. But I've done it. <laughs> I've done, you know, 50 episodes of television. So you have money. I mean, I have a one bedroom apartment that I'm comfortable that I could keep. <laughs> but take your shoes off because I don't want to replace the rug. I know what I mean. So when somebody's when you take a picture and you're there, it's like you take the picture and then it's like, hey, I'm the best. You took a picture with me. That's me. That's what you feel? I feel that if, if I were going to see, when, if I were going to go see Wicked again, and you, I didn't know you, right? And I'm like, oh, I fucking love this play. I love these witches. I love the energy. I love New York. Yeah. Okay. I want somebody to take a picture. Would you take a picture of us real quick? Yeah. Cool. And then you were to say, by the way, that's me. Yeah. You know what you know what I do? What? Shit in my pants. Yeah, but then also then I'm stuck talking to you for a minute and I need to warm up and do the show. Yeah, Watch but- this. Roll reversal. Watch this. Let's say um and then uh, you're going to be stuck. All right, ready? Can, I'm sorry. Can you take a picture with me? I love taking pictures. Oh, Great. with you? Wait. I, I mean, no, sorry. I mean, will you take a picture oh, of us? Oh, I was flattered. Damn it. I was flattered. Will you take a picture yeah, yeah, of yeah. us? Actually, there's something I want to show you. And cool that you have a camera instead of a phone where I look yeah. through the thing. There's something I want to show you. You actually did take a picture with me. Here, by the way. Oh, That's it, me. I'm the, that You're the witch? Yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. Now we have to take a picture with you. I'll take a quick picture. I got to go. I don't want to stay and linger. Let's do it real quick. Yeah. Okay. It was really nice to meet you. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Okay, but can I just see what? Not going to do it. Have yeah, a good now one. Yeah, you look like an Bye-bye. asshole. No, I don't. I look no. charming. I look. You. No he's way. Like he's in a, no, not if you he says I'm in a like, hurry. Yes. No. Yes. Does Steve, Steve say yes? Steve agrees. I don't you know. look like a jerk because you're like, oh, you know what? I know you. I know you want to talk to me, but I just, I'm really important. No, no, no. no. He Mom, I got it. Hey. No, you don't. I. Oh, you know what? Then check this out. Give it to me. I'm going to be the guy that the people are going to be like, you know what? I met Rick and he's he, and he's like he was cool kind of. He took a picture and he made a joke, but he he was in a hurry to go to work and he left. He's a real asshole. That's me. No. You know what else you... I am? I'm also the guy that does it his way. Shout out to Frank. I'm also the guy that is getting tagged in pictures. I'm also getting validation that I want when I want, how I want. <laughs> And I'm not worried about how other people feel about me because I have been in the past. And what I realized is I could try to make them feel this way or this way. But the only sustainable truth is I have no control over it. And you know what I want to do? What? Me. Fine. But you know what you really would have done? You would have taken the picture. They would have asked you a question. You would have said, I'm so sorry. I'd love to chat with you, but I, I have to get into makeup and I'm, I'm really in a hurry. But thank you so much. Enjoy the show. I would know. See, I don't know how to leave a conversation. You could say that's, but that's, I, easy. But I, that's just I, that's just me. And I know my I just told down, you what to say. But I still won't do it. And then I because I have this extreme guilt. And then I'm like, sure. What else do you need to do? Is this do? the Catholic okay. in you? Yes. The and I, so I just Catholic like, I, yeah, I'm the Irish Catholic in me. Like, I, I, how can I? Uh, yeah, I Jewish will, guilt is worse. I will stay at the stage door forever and talk to you forever because I just don't. Well, I'm like, I feel like you've waited for me for so long. Well, that's your. And I'm gonna, yeah. So like, you could be sweet and say, God, I'm so flattered. I'm so sorry, but I got to get into makeup. It takes a long time to do this, but enjoy the show and thank you. Well, we all have our own cross to bear. I know. I actually, and this is gonna sound silly. I don't have a cross to bear. You don't? He doesn't give a shit. No, I, I care. You don't care about I, anything, I, do you? I do, I do care. You don't care about anything, do you? I do care. He cares about everything. I, I'm not... Uh, <laughs> this I'm, went dark. I'm working on not being controlled by it. Because okay, I like that. Because I'm, this, I'm funny, I'm charming, I'm charismatic, everybody likes me. And I found out a wow. few years ago that isn't true. I thought my whole life, up until like 30 years old, I thought that... And then I found that it wasn't true. And so I'm living in this world... Now I'm in this world, and they both have the same thing in common. I'm, there's nothing I could do to make this more or less true. I'm going to be liked by some people, yeah. which feels great. Let me take a picture, do a bit. I hope you still like me, but what am I going to do? I'm going to stay when I don't want to stay? What am I, my mother-in-law? <laughs> oh, God. Are you married? No, he just, this is... It's, uh, it's, it's on brand for me to like not like my mother-in-law so just a heads up okay okay that chances right. are you i feel like i'm not gonna like your mom <laughs> my my every guy that's met my family is like i want to marry you because my family is amazing See? swear to god well, look at her How yeah my family is my family is so dope cool man i was just negging you yeah i bet cool, you have cool. a great family They're i was just awesome. i was just trying to be like Tch. yeah so then you'd be like you should meet them you have a podcast i do can i be on it yes do your are your parents going to come out here no, we're going to go to Connecticut. I already bought you a flight. 
I know you're joking, but I'm in. Am I? I'm in. Well, of course, you couldn't have already bought me a flight. Show it to me. Such a girl to already buy a flight. <laughs> I didn't. Damn it. I don't even when know you how move to buy out here, flight. your parents are going to come check it out, right? My parents came and saw me when I did the show here at the because it was the last time I'll ever do Wicked, so they like came to see me my last show. It is the last time. Yeah. I saw they were at the performance I was at. They were. I went to the closing night Sunday. You went to closing night Sunday night. Yeah, intentionally. Yeah. Oh my god! Yes. Yeah. That my parents were there. Where were they sitting? I don't know. Really good seats because I actually they, did get do them. They cry seats. when they do. They cry when they see you. Yeah, my my yeah, and my yes, yes. We were seventh row center. So you probably were sitting right next to them, Norma and Jeff. Oh well, <laughs> Norma and Jeff. Norma and Jeff. I sat next to Je- uh, Jeff. Dark hair guy and a redhead woman. Huge schwanz. <laughs> yeah, I think I sat next to your dad. Yep. And I think your dad and my dad and I'm assuming dad just because I'm. Uh, I think they both probably love sports. Is your dad into? <laughs> Hates it. My Love dad loves golf. My dad loves golf. Yeah. Yeah, I love sports. <laughs> so when you get your first regular gig out here. Yeah. Um, when I'm living on your couch. Yeah. I'll probably start paying rent then. The yeah. truth is, the truth is, by the time, even if you get it fast, even if you move out here and you get, you get a regular role in like a couple of months. Yes. You won't be on my couch. And here's the logic I have. You come here, let's say you need to stay on my couch for a little bit while you're looking. Yeah, yeah. If after two, we- after two weeks, yeah. you either find a place or we're in love. <laughs> so you're either gone or in the bedroom. You know what I mean? You can be on the couch for three months. I'm put out. I have no problem saying, I got to go put my makeup on. I'm going to work. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, totally. So yeah, you're not going to be on the couch for that long. That would drive me fucking mental. Okay. So when bedroom you get your is. first gig, mm. um, I'd love to have you back to promote it. Okay, great. I wonder if I'll still be doing this. I can't imagine anybody... By the way, thank you for doing this. Who's going to listen to this? Nobody. The only people that would are on it, and they say, I heard it already. We were part of it. <laughs> That's not true. Thanks, Mo. That's not true. I wish you would have seen his show last night. He was so fucking... Oh, you had a show last night? Oh, Should have invited big you. Big one. A big show. Huge. A lot of Where? big people. A lot of big Sarah names. Sarah Silverman. Sarah it was a great Silverman. show. Where was it? It was a show at the Comedy, Comedy Store. Store. I would have gone. All I did was work out. Oh, honey, it was such a great show. I would have gone. Oh, his... well, you, when you're back in town, you'll come to a show. Yeah, I'm back next Wednesday. Uh, I fly I'll, back I'll Wednesday. Still be in town. Oh, are you? Yeah. I'm here Wednesday Perfect. morning. I fly in Wednesday morning. We'll pick you up. We'll what time do you land? I land at 11.29. You never even pick me up. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> get oh, it? Yeah. That's you right. idiot. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean that. I, You know what? And this is a conversation we had with, with David the, uh, the other day. I talked. We talk to each other in a certain way, and I found out recently humor. that I have made people uncomfortable. Oh, be- I talk to my parents terribly. I'm okay. like, what the fuck, ma? But that's kidding. They'd be like, who talks to their mother that way? And I'm like, I do. Friends, but now I've met but it's somebody best, else but who best does friends. it. Friends, it's yeah. If he was serious, I'll ask my mom. Be like, wait, are you are you guys doing anal? Like, what's happening? Like, you know, yeah, I don't like, like this. Talks? I don't like this talk. I do not like that. Talk. You don't. Like I don't that? mind it with your parents. <laughs> he doesn't so like anything to do with me sexually. I have a podcast. Really, I'm recording a podcast with. This is a very sexy couple. No, he can't. Listen, stand I it. get the comedy and what you're doing, and if we have to go down it, I'm not like oh, 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 but I just don't need it. He hates it. Really? Me. Yeah, he's a mama's boy. So. Oh, that's sweet. I'm doing a podcast mm. with Anders Holmes. Shout out to Anders. Sup. On that day, three o'clock. Yeah. That's so awesome. I could pick you up. You, you come back to Studio City. Yeah. I'll pick you up. Great. What time you land? Twenty eleven twenty nine. Pick <laughs> up, married. Wait a minute. Forty year old. Wait a minute. I am not. Forty. I'm not forty. Pick up, married, forty year old. He has really never. These dead. are his words. Dead Mom, I dropped. Last time you were here, I dropped you off at the airport. Dead to me. Oh my god. Mom, last time you were here, I dropped you off at the airport. Uh, yeah, that's true. I actually have to go to the airport in about twenty minutes. My dad will so. take you. <laughs> my dad will take you. Um, I actually really do. Yeah, so. we should end this. Pick up. Uh, yeah. The, the Wednesday at eleven. Get out of my life. Thirty. I'll pick you up. Yeah, great. That feels right. I might have a stomach ache. I'll let you know. If so, it's fine. Worst I'll case scenario, Uber. you're taking Uber. Select. Yeah, that feels right. Yeah, you'll send it. I think that I'm here. At the uh, you know, I got you an eleven dollar McMuffin. You I feel did, like, and it was delicious. I feel like it's on you. Okay. To take I care understand. of. I understand. Yeah. <clears throat> that feels right. Well, we I, do have to wrap it up because you have to get going. I have to get on um, a plane to Buffalo. So, thank you. Will you just thank sing you. a little bit for me? Oh I'm no, gonna, I'm not going to sing. Absolutely not. Here we go. Yeah, just do it for me. You want to mix it up? Watch. Yeah. You mix it up. Yeah, go ahead, throw it. Thanks. <laughs>
Oh, I mean, showing oh. off the one hand thing when the I truth mean, is it. I still got it. Yeah, you did. Hey, hey, yeah, you do. <laughs> Thank you. No, she's mixing it for us. They're gonna do a duet. No, I, I don't know the. Okay. I can't. I don't uh, know where to start. So, so obviously, what has to happen is we have to switch seats for a sec. Oh, okay. All right. So where do we where where do we start? All right. I can't do it. Oh, I'm no, too scared. Mommy. And I am. Yeah. You so it. <coughs> That's so bad for your cords. No, no, no. I've, no, I've got something that. stuck in yeah, there. No, you can't do that. You're putting so much pressure on your cords. Coughing is so bad in clearing. But what do I do? What do you do? That's too much guttural. All right, you start. No, you start. I can't do it. I'll just come in with you. You know it. It, it well, well may be right. that we will never meet, meet again, again in this lifetime. lifetime. So, so let, let me say before we part. part so much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me. Oh Sing it! Like a handprint on my heart. And, and now, now, whatever way our stories end, I know, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Like a ship blown from its moon. There it is. Oh my God. I just keep singing. Like a wind off the, the sea. sea. Like a sea dropped by a sky bird in a distant wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you. Because I knew you. <laughs> Because I know you, I have been changed for good. We did it. We did it. And you, you did it. This. He did it. I got to tell you something. Oh, this fun. was one of the best moments of my life. Ricky brought me on stage with him when he was doing, in Cleveland, a show, and he had me on stage. I thought I was gonna cry and, and die, and I got up there, and it was like such an amazing moment, because it was like all about me, and they're yeah. looking at me, 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 yeah. me, and I'm making them laugh, and it's me. This, I sang with you, my song. <laughs> Ricky. Oh, we... oh, Ricky, you don't even know what you just, just sing one more line with that voice. Because I knew Your you. Your voice is just as good Yeah, yeah, it's just as good. <laughs> I have been changed. You got it. I have been changed for, for good. good. <laughs> She's so cute. And you're wearing beats, which is so dope. She's like wearing red beads. Ricky, did you get Ricky? Yeah. Just Ricky, get a picture for me. Yes. Get over here, love bug. I know that you have to put your makeup on soon, and you don't have time for a picture. But I'm like, you look crazy. Here we go. Oh, I can't fucking believe I go. that I'm sitting with her. For good. This is this, this is like I I might have wet my pants. <laughs> I know. I mean, I might have wet my pants. You're so this sweet. is you're like my favorite show. You want to? You're so fat. Thank you. This is, this is like this is like somebody meeting. This is like, oh, because your voice is so delicious. You're so talented. Thank you. Because you have that, you know, your voice. So disrespectful. That's so fabulous. That felt really right. That felt really good. Oh, honey. All right, she's got to go. Let's wrap it up. Bye. Nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. It was so nice meeting you. I had such a good time. Yes. This is so Oh, you're so darling. And thank you very much for coming to our show. All right, my name is Rick. Thank you so much for tuning in to the podcast. Go around. Otherwise, snooze you lose. My name is Rick. Have a good one. Scoot doo. Blabbity blue. Scoot 